All right, y'all. We've got a SMM 52 millimeter piston here. We we've got the cylinder. Not going to worry about the cylinder. I'm going to show you how to install your rings and clock them. So going from top to bottom, you're going to start the silver ring goes on top. The black ring goes next. Then one of these thin black rings, your funny looking squiggly ring, and another thin black ring. Um, the top two rings do have markings on them to show which way is up. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get that on camera. Um, I'm not going to, but trust me when I say there is a mark on there that indicates top and bottom. Um, it's my understanding that that has to do with uh, a beveled ring. Um, these rings are not beveled, so realistically, it doesn't matter, or it doesn't matter to me anyway. So, um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, okay, let's install these rings. Um, I like to do it, I like to put this one on first. Uh, the little, the, the squiggly squiggly. And then, see how it goes is then the thin black one on top of it, and the thin black one on the bottom of it. So it's sandwiched in between those. Um... I find it easier though to put this one on first. So we're going to put this one on first, put it all the way to the bottom, get it popped in there. Um, we're going to line the gap up with your intake there. So your gap is right, right here, the ring gap. Um, then we will take one of these, thin black ones, and we're going to get the, the gap of that ring over here at 9 o'clock. And this one's going to go right on top of that squiggly one. And again, they're fragile, but they're, they're not going to break. I mean, don't, uh, don't get violent with it, but you can push pretty good on it. Okay, so we got that one on. That I sandwiched that one on top. And it's at nine o'clock gap. We're gonna take this one and we're gonna go for three o'clock for the gap. And so what's easiest for me is to do this one from the bottom. So we're gonna take it and we are going to stretch it out a little bit and slide her on there. I'm going to bump the camera. And if we're doing this right, it should just kind of should slide right in and sandwich right below the that squiggly ring. That's a technical term by the way. If you're looking to buy these parts, look up squiggly ring. Okay, so we got that. Um, so we've got our gaps in the right spot. We've got one of the little black ones on that side, one of the little black ones on that side, and the squiggly one on this side. All technical terms. Um, and that's good. It's on there. Those gaps might have moved a little bit, but they're, they're gapped. So next, we're going to put on the black ring. And like I say, it does have a marking. I can see it right here. You can't see it on camera. Um, but since, uh, since we got the other gaps here, here, and here, I'm going to go for here and here. So we're going to take this one, and this goes into the, the second space on your piston. Let's, let's walk it down there. I don't know how well you can... 
see this or not. It's hard for me to look at the camera screen and look at what I'm doing. Uh, just not multi-talented like that, I guess. I can't even use the backup camera in a car. I hate it. I got to see what I'm doing. Okay. So we got that one in there. And we got it. It's gapped over right over on this side now. And we are going to take our top ring, which also has a mark that you can't see, but it's there. And we're going to gap that one like so. Um, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for my clocking of these gaps. Everybody does it different, but I've done this a lot of times and I've never had an issue. So um, we got that popped on there and we are good. We got all, all five rings on there. They are clocked properly. And we are ready to install this piston. Later, guys.